Hello everyone, we'll be discussing uh, some interview questions for LT or 4Z. So I'll be discussing some of the uh, mostly asked questions and answers also. So the first question would be uh, what is LT? So LT is a 3GPP standardization release 8 uh, which implies uh, uh, long term evolution wherein we are having features like MIMO, 1 millisecond TTI, OFTMA modulation technique in the downlink, SCFDMA in the uplink and many more features. So in short, 3CPP release 8 standardization is LD, sometimes it is also referred as 3.9G. The second question would be what are the bandwidth supported in LT? So there are various range of bandwidths uh, can be supported in LT system starting from 1.5 megahertz to 3 megahertz, uh, 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 15 megahertz and 20 megahertz. The third mostly asked question would be number of resource block in, in each of the frequency bands like for 20 megahertz it would be uh, 100 resource blocks for uh, 15 it would be 75 resource blocks for uh, 10 megahertz it would be 50 resource blocks for 5 megahertz it would be 25 resource block for 3 it would be uh, 15 and for uh, 1.5 megahertz 6 resource blocks the third mostly asked question uh, fourth mostly uh, asked question should be uh, what is the modulation uh, techniques uh, used in LT so uh, we are having uh, specialized modulation techniques in LT to accommodate more users and uh, more uh, bandwidth utilization and uh, greater spectrum flex flexibility. So we support OFTMA in the downlink and SCFDMA in the uplink. We are having 64 QAM modulation supported in both uplink and downlink. The fifth question would be what is the difference between LT and LT advanced? Or maybe they can ask you what what is the difference between LTE release 8 and release 10 so release 8 as we know it is a 3.9 G sometimes referred as 3.9 G and uh, where we are having all the basic LT features in LT advanced we are having two uh, mostly popular added features that is uh, 8 cross 8 MIMO uh, release 10 supports 8 cross 8 MIMO that means 8 antennas in the base station and 8 antennas in the UE and uh, carrier aggregation we can add multiple carriers or multiple frequencies let's say 2 uh, 20 megahertz frequency we can add or 10 megahertz and 10 megahertz two different frequency we can add so carrier aggregation and 8 cross 8 MIMO is the LT advanced feature and we can support up to 1 GBPS in the downlink that's all for today we'll be uh, discussing some more questions in the next session Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.